So I just had coffee with one of my bridesmaids and I decided I have a little bit of time, not enough to really go home, but I'm kind of out and about anyways. So I decided to head over to some crafting stores to see if I can find our hand fasting cord. So come along. Yes, let's get it. We've made it to a different parking lot so I can talk because there was so many cars around it's not even funny. So I <laughs> haven't gone to a Hobby Lobby in years and I normally don't. I will normally go to a Michaels, I'll go to a Joann's because Hobby Lobby is a very Christian store and I don't love that but also I haven't been there in a long time but I know like memory brain was like I remember that they had colored cord, the exact thing I'm looking for for our hand fasting. And I was like, I'm just gonna go look and see, I'm not gonna buy anything else. Obviously failed. <laughs> so I forgot that like, I need to not go in there, not because of their policies, not because they don't allow like women to have birth control through the insurance. I don't know if they can still do that, but I remember when I was getting to where I could start to work, that was a thing. And I'm like, well, I gotta have that to not bleed to death. So gotta have that, can't work here. Okay, um, they weren't on board with that. They're very not Pride Month friendly. And also the big one for me personally is that they don't do Halloween anymore because like that's the devil's holiday. <laughs> so they used to have the coolest Halloween decor and then they were like, mm, you know what? No. So they do fall and Thanksgiving and then Christmas. Um, surprisingly, there was not any, any Christmassy stuff out yet. So that was different normally. I mean, it's June. How is it not Christmas yet? You know? Um, and I've heard some people say that they've spotted autumn at their stores. This one was not. This was definitely still very 4th of July, spring is still discounted. So maybe they're finally getting with the seasons because spring is just getting over. So anywho, I managed <laughs> to find a lot of stuff I did not need, but I needed it. So I got a lot of things. It was all 50% off, which was, well, the, the big items were 50% off, which is good. So I did not know that they would have altar tables. That's not what they're for. Obviously, <laughs> they're not supporting the witches, at least intentionally. But like, dude, they had altar tables. I bought so many. It's ridiculous. And honestly, I wanted to buy them all. And I had to stop myself and be like, listen, stop. You don't need every wooden table they sell but I got a lot of them. I got a lot of them. So I got a set for our wedding, um, the witchy wedding, private witchy wedding side. Um, Cause we're doing obviously the big shebang of a wedding. Um, and then the little private ceremony that we'll be doing together. Um, just me and him, nobody else, just me and him and doing our own thing some point on our honeymoon. Um, because like, I don't know, we just, we feel like we want to do that. It's going to be extremely witchy. Lots of the, like, it's a high magic, high ceremony thing that is not for the, um, non witchy folk. The muggles are not going to enjoy that. Okay. So <laughs> I found these tables and they're the best thing ever because we want to go out into nature to do this. So these little tables I'm gonna use indefinitely. I don't know if I'm gonna keep the color, but I love them. So it works great for the wedding because white and weddings, you know, and they had a lot of wedding stuff right now. Tis the season. 
but like they're these little I'm sure I'm gonna show you but these little round tables they had smaller ones and bigger ones I got one of the big ones as like maybe this will be the main altar um that was the plan initially I kept it anyways but we'll get there and then I got five smaller ones Okay, so I wanted to just jump on here and show you them. So I'm just doing a voiceover and showing them on my altar. So these are the small ones that I was talking about that are for the elements. They're actually like a decent size, but here is the small one compared to the bigger one that's kind of the main altar piece, giving a little bit more context. All right, back to the video. I found a long table and I was like, ooh, that would also be a really good altar table. because So I bought that one. Okay, so our plan is probably to have this be the deity spot when we actually do our ritual, but in the meanwhile, it's going to be a main altar piece for me. Here is it in size relation to the altars for the elements. And then uh, they had this weirdly shaped one, and I was like, oh my god, that would be perfect. I don't know if it's going to be the Patreon um, altar of like when I do witchy stuff with you guys there. I don't know. Or if it's going to be my like card pool. Again, patrons get that on Sundays. Um, I don't know. But I was like, I need this. Or even just out and about in our own house to be like, yeah, this is our altar table for when we ever do ritual outside. Okay, here's the last table. Isn't it adorable? It's got that weird shape and it's got a cute little stand to it. It is really small, so I don't know what exactly I'm going to use it for. But again, relation to the element ones. Again, it's pretty small. I don't know exactly how I'm going to use it, but I couldn't resist it. Here I am putting it on top so you can also see kind of the size as well. I was wandering through the yarn aisle and I found velvet yarn that, I don't know if it's real velvet, whatever, but it's close enough to our wedding colors and I didn't find any of the cord and I'm like, maybe? All right, so I'm just going to record this with the actual audio of me in real time but this is the yarn. So we have this purple. It's not exactly the purple of our wedding, but like it's close enough, maybe. And then we got this as a white and this is the green because that's our colors. So yeah, it's super soft, obviously it's velvet, <laughs> but I don't know if we're gonna be actually using this for it. I'm going to see how it turns out, but I also did find some on Amazon after I bought this and I was editing this and I found a different one. So we're not going to be showing exactly how I'm doing it in this video, but I will have that forthcoming of some things that I'm planning on doing with this because I'm going to still use it for the wedding, but it might be more of the witchy one that we'll be doing just me and him um, and not necessarily with the big shipping <laughs> with a bunch of people. That's the one I think we're going to use that we will be getting soon-ish. It's They're coming on different days of the week, so I will show that at a different time. But for now, this is what we got. So we got that, and then I have the dress that I'll be wearing for just me and him. I'm not going to wear my very expensive dress out into the woods. I found one on Amazon that's super cheap and very witchy. And I want to do some stuff to it, snazz it up a little bit. And one of the things I want to do is put like an underskirt for it because it's very see-through and I don't love that and I want to have a little more volume going on. So I bought elastic to sew pieces of material too. And I don't know if I'm going to buy material or if I'm going to buy dye and dye an old sheet and cut it up. I haven't decided yet. I needed none of those things. Maybe the yarn. Maybe. Or I could have just kept looking for cord. But I have been looking since November, to be fair. So... And I haven't seen it. But uh, yeah, I can see why I don't go there anymore because I will spend too much money. And they have so many things that I'm like, this would be perfect for witchcraft. <laughs> Which again, not what they would intend that to be for at all, but 100% what I would use it for because obviously, just like, I have so many statues and things that were for witchcraft that I have used from there over the years and candles that were beautiful from there that I still have and I still use. They last forever. So anyways, kind of a win, maybe? I don't know. I'm gonna try to crochet the um, yarn and see how that goes or maybe even braid it really tightly. Gonna have to see how that works out. <laughs> so anyways, um, we'll, we'll see how that turns out. But for now, I did a lot of not 
great choice making. I bought so many tables I didn't need, but I needed them, obviously.